a sparkle in your eye Forever young Every moment this is life Take it as it comes Jump up and reach for the stars Having no regrets Forever and ever Always young Forever young <laughs> well, it's been a truly amazing weekend, Bobby. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, do you think this is the, the this where we are now is the the pinnacle of experiences in this area? It's got everything. The whole place. For me, this is I, I work all over the world, and for me, this is this is the only place in the world that I want to work. Well, that, I also wanted to ask you about that because somebody who, who spends a lot of time around the world and has travelled around the world, yeah, you've chosen here. Yeah. Well, tell us more about why this is so. Sp oh, we've got drinks coming. Ah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. We are so. Oh, what you got there? This is sex on the beach. Oh, what else? <laughs> you're about to have sex on the beach. Yeah, okay. you might be lucky. Oh. Well, so, okay. okay. Cheers. Cheers. Huh? <laughs> fancy myself living anywhere else in the world except here like Portugal's fantastic it is it's great yeah. but for me being 20 minutes from the city having paradise on your shoulder mm -hmm. the beach on the other shoulder what do you want to show people about Portugal I mean a lot of people will, will be making programs about Portugal won't they and introducing yeah. people to Portugal and it's so picturesque it's so accessible and quite rightly so but I think we're looking to go a bit deeper what's, yeah. what's your we want to lift a layer off I want to actually show people the madness sort of side of it as well. Yeah. There is a bit of madness in here. If you talk about Beretta Verde and the bullfighting and the, the, the bull running, for instance, yeah, 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 and it's amazing. It's really, really and crazy what, what, stuff. What concerns me is that we're going bullfighting. Well, we have to go bullfighting. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, yeah, okay. And we can stamp on some grapes and things as well along the way. Yes. Maybe try a bit of uh, kite surfing and things like this as well. Right, you never know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't remember this. <laughs> but but may, yeah, maybe a late Saturday night, that's what I got talked into. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think even like if we look at the cultural side of it, what what what's going on here from a Portuguese point of view. So a lot of the expats sort of stick to themselves. They don't really get in and dirty with the actual, let's say, Portuguese culture. It's like <laughs> yes. Being in the dirty. <laughs> yes. But uh, I know what you mean? <laughs> but the thing is that there's so much there to discover. Actually, when I moved here first, I didn't go on holidays any other place else. Mm -hmm. I went on holidays in Portugal. Yeah. To discover different parts of it, and like you know, Castelo Branco. Yeah. Like you go to Coimbra, you go to uh, Aguar. And you've not even mentioned the Algarve? No. You know, that's everybody's idea of a, of a holiday in Portugal. I mean, you, you might never go to the Algarve. There's enough to do central, north, pop Absolutely. into Spain maybe, Madeira, yeah. Azores. Yeah, Algarve has its benefits as well, but for me, it's probably the last place I want to go to. Mm -hmm. So I think no matter where you go, whether you come here, you land in Porto, or you land in the in the Silver Coast, or Lisbon, or Tejo, or in uh, uh, Algarve, mm -hmm. you're still going to find your piece of paradise somewhere yeah so I would invite people to come along come along on the journey with us yeah and uh, see what crazy stuff we're going to get up to over the next couple of weeks and um, hopefully they'll like what to see great how I see it, and I don't know if you agree with this but I see Portugal as a mysterious maiden mm -hmm. with a sort of come hither look 
Yeah. And everyone, you know, everyone knows about the Algarve and the Pastel Donatas and all the great things, no question about those, and I don't over argue or disagree. Yeah. But if you're patient and you're prepared to take or go on a journey or a process, it's like a courtship. And and Portugal, the mysterious maiden, will say, okay, you know, you like my natas, so to speak. Um, you know, how about this? How yeah. about something starts revealing more? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not, you know, if you're pushy, if you're demanding, quite rightly, you're not going. You know, that's impolite and rude, impudent. And you and and this, some of the secrets of this country will not be revealed to you. You, you have to. You have to go investigate. You have to go yeah. discover. You have to go on a journey. Yeah. And there's so much. You, you can keep going. You're still going to find new things. You're going to find new foods. Yeah. Because this country is so different from the north to the south. Yeah. In everything from its architecture to its even what kind of uh, its customs, its culture, what they eat, what they drink, uh, how they do it, and when they do it. As you know, it's very very different to the north. Very different to the south. Yeah. And I think um, but, yeah, under the layers of a seeming and apparent difference differences around the country, north to south, east to west, is that same Portuguese soul. And I yes. think that's the thing we fell in love with, um, you know, first coming here, love at first sight. Yeah. And I mean, you know, you don't often get love at first sight and then a long, slow, beautiful relationship. Do you? It's normally one or the other. Yeah. And it seems to me Portugal offers love at first sight and then a, an, an unveiling and a developing and a growing love and depth.